Now, consider Abraham. He believed God. It was credited to him as righteousness. Understand then that those who believe are children of Abraham. The scriptures foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announced the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you. So those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. Nowhere in the Bible, anywhere, and you can look and look and look, you won't find it. Nowhere in the Bible is anyone blessed in Moses. I don't care if you are, Charlton Heston. <laughs> You're not going to get blessed. The reason is the law brings a curse and condemnation. Why? Because we can't keep it. It reveals our fallen condition. Fallen goes clear back to the Garden of Eden. That's going to continue through the race until Christ comes again. That's not going to change. Children, as sweet as they are, must be born again as well. He redeemed us in verse 14 in order that the blessings given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. So the very thing that God promised Abraham is what happens to us in Jesus Christ, the same. Now if you'll notice in Matthew 1.1, maybe you have noticed this or have not noticed this, but take note of it if, in any event. A record of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Son of David, the son of Abraham. He is the seed. Okay, Abraham would come, through Abraham would come the Savior, through whom salvation would come to the entire world, the seed. Now that promise was not set aside because of the Mosaic Covenant. The Abrahamic covenant lacked sufficient universal emphasis on human sinfulness. That's why God gave the law. The promise of salvation was through Abraham. Anybody that blesses you, I'll bless. Anybody who harms you, I'll harm them. That was what God said. Now, the Abraham, Abrahamic covenant, God says, I will bless you. And in the Mosaic covenant, it says, I will curse you. Because we can't keep God's law. Plain and simple. In the Abraham, Abrahamic covenant, God says, I will. In the Mosaic covenant, God says, you better. It's a threat. In the Abrahamic covenant, you have promise. In the Mosaic covenant, you have threats. There you go. So how many here today want to live by the law and the commandments? Are you fond of heat? <laughs> Anyone have a death wish and really like warm weather? I mean, really warm weather. <laughs> We're not going there. There was nothing universally given in the Abrahamic covenant to reveal our lost condition. 